What if I told you that the biggest advantage wealthy kids have isn't just money, it's the lessons that they are taught about it. A survey by the Money and Pension Service revealed that children from higher income households were more likely to receive financial education compared to those from lower income households and that is 50% versus 44% in lower income households. As a father of two young kids myself under the age of four, I have spent countless hours researching what the rich actually teach their kids about money because I want to give mine a head start. In this video, I will share some of the things that I found and a big shout out to Maureen for watching our videos and asking the question that inspired me to shoot this video in the first place. This video is the first part of my response to a brilliant question. One thing is very clear. All the reports, surveys and papers that I read reveal that wealthy children don't just benefit from resources. They have a massive head start because of the mindset and lessons that their parents instill in them. In fact, according to T. Rowe Price Parents and Kid Money Survey, kids between the age of 8 and 14 still overwhelmingly go to their parents as their most trusted source of financial information even with the rise of social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. So let's dive into the first lesson that the rich actually teach their kids about money and how you can actually teach the same to your own kids. Lesson one, understanding how money works. Rich parents make talking about money as common in the house as debating whether pineapple belongs on a pizza. They openly discuss how money is earned, how money is spent, how money is saved and invested. Money isn't a taboo topic in the family. It's just another part of their daily life, like brushing their teeth or stepping on a piece of toy. I remember growing up, there was no talk about money in my household and I had to figure out everything by myself. But wealthy parents don't just stop at talking or teaching their kids about money they make them experience the lessons that are being taught, which makes it stick even more. Here are some ideas that I found on how they do it. Number one, they use everyday experiences as teaching moments. For example, grocery shopping. Next time that you are at the store, involve your kids. Give them a budget and let them make choices. Tell them something like, we have five pounds. Should we get this? or should we get that and then you watch how their minds would calculate and make choices and then you can use that as a teaching moment for them. The second way that I found out that the rich and wealthy use to help their kids understand how money works is to use games to actually drive this point home. Games like Monopoly, Cash Flow, these games are board games but they are sneaky ways to actually teach kids about property investment cash flow and the agony of paying rent to your sibling. Family game nights just got a whole lot more interesting. There is this beautiful quote from Maria Montessori that I love so much that drives home this point. It says that the, what the hand does, the mind remembers. And board games are a perfect way to help their mind grasp the concept of how money works. The third way to drive this point home is to create an earning and budgeting system in your home. So instead of just handing over money to your kids, tie allowances to chores and tax. I love Dave Ramsey's idea of how to set up this system. And that is, you make your kids do chores, but when they've earned an allowance as a result of the chores, they have to divide their allowance into three buckets, spending, saving and giving. And this is brilliant because if we really look at our life at the moment, these are the three areas that we want to cover. We want to earn money and we will spend it. But we also want to be generous. And this teaches the kids from a very early age how to be able to allocate their money into these areas, giving them that sense of responsibility and that sense of knowing it all out. But when I earn money, it is not just just to invest. There is a balance that needs to be created and that is a wonderful and perfect money system. Another way to do this also is to involve them in businesses or your job. If you run a business or you have a project, involve them. Something that I love in one of the companies I worked in the past is having a bring your kids to work day. 
and this is a very perfect and wonderful idea that helps kids to bring them into the workplace let them see how your day is going and just helps them to understand ask questions with regards to your job and what you do and which also presents a lot of teaching moments to help them spark that conversation and help them understand the concept of how money works the fifth way to be able to drive this concept home is to actually discuss family goals together whether it's saving for a family vacation or a new game console whatever it is bring them along in the journey let them plan with you all of these moments help to drive home that point and help them understand a lot more how money works and they're not too young to start there's a report that says that most money mindsets have actually been stamped at the age of seven and if you look at a perfect example warren buffett at the age of 11 bought his first stock and who knows these lessons and this teaching that you're actually instilling in them might just make them the next warren buffett of their time the second lesson that the rich and wealthy actually impacts and instills in their kids is the difference between assets and liabilities the rich and wealthy teach their kids that there is a difference between assets and liabilities but they don't just stop there they teach them how to buy assets and let their assets actually fund their liabilities but what is an asset in the first place or liability robert kiyosaki author of rich dad poor dad puts it perfectly an asset is something that puts money in your pocket while a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket explaining this to your kids and letting them understand this is a game changer so how can we teach our kids without actually turning the dinner table into a finance seminar one remember those games we spoke about earlier they are a good starting point for example in monopoly you buy properties and things like that you could use that to explain that this is an asset when you buy a house and people pay rent in to you that is an asset because that house is putting money in your pocket and if you have a business or you have some investments show them your account let them see how it works in real life by helping your kids understand the difference between assets and liabilities you're actually giving them a superpower it's like giving them financial x-ray that they can see the true nature of things that they spend money on which in turn allows them to turn anything that comes into their path into an asset the third lesson is the power of compound interest and investing the rich and wealthy parents emphasize the importance of investing early to harness the incredible power of compound interest the concept of earning interest on your interest it's like a snowball rolling down the hill gathering more snow as it goes one couple that i've seen that have done this very well is amon and christina from our rich journey you could check out their youtube channel which i've linked they have been teaching their kids about investing but how do we make the wonders of compound interest and investing really understandable to a kid the first is to open an investment account for your child that will be a junior isa for us in the uk and with this account you can invest up to nine thousand pounds per kid in a year and that money will grow tax free remember i earlier spoke about money system in the first lesson about understanding how money works i said that kids need to learn how to earn money but also how to save and invest spend the money they earn and also give the money the junior isa account is one account that can help kids to save and invest their, their their money and allowance the second way is to make investing tangible and how do i mean investing can be hard to explain especially to kids but a good tip from amon and christina is to explain and show how interest actually works you can show them using the compound interest calculator to see how their money would grow if they invested a certain amount versus if they saved that money let me show you what i mean let's say you start this when your child is five and they earn 10 pounds every week and let's say for illustration purpose you decide to invest five pounds of that money into a global index funds by the time they are 20 as you can see they will have about nine thousand pounds 
by the time they are 65, they will have over 1 million pounds. And that is not even the crazy part. Can you guess how much of that money they actually contributed? Write your answer in the comment section. The answer is actually 15,500, while the interest is 1 million pounds. That is the power of compounding and investing from just five pounds. So instead of buying toys, why not buy shares of a company or index funds along with toys if you want to for your kids for their birthday and holidays. If you're a fan of this channel, you know I'm a big supporter of index funds and that is what I would also advise that you buy for your kids. The fourth lesson is the importance of networking and relationships. Wealthy parents emphasize that success isn't just about what you know, it's also about who you know. A 2018 study by Harvard University found that social skills in children are a better indicator of their future success, much more than academic achievements alone. You want to have your kids in the right room and also meeting the right people. This can be the difference maker. And how can you do this? You can do this by helping them practice their social skills first at home and in family events, on, and also by teaching them how to ask questions. Another way is to encourage them to join clubs and teams in their schools. And lastly, is you can help them develop their social skills by allowing them to volunteer and give their time to other worthy costs. These things open them up and help them improve their social skills. The fifth lesson that rich and wealthy parents teach their kids is to encourage them to actually create and run their own small businesses. This instills the idea that solving problems and adding value are key to success. It's not about making a quick buck here. The lesson you actually want to teach is to develop that entrepreneurial mindset in your kid. Steve Seabold writes that if you want to be rich, solve a problem. If you want to be very wealthy, solve a bigger problem. And this is the absolute truth. So to help our kids become the next Elon Musk, for example, is to encourage their small business venture. You might have to fund this venture at the beginning, but the goal is to actually teach them valuable lessons. Like I said, identifying a problem, brainstorming solutions. Another idea you want to teach your kids that is linked to starting a small business is the idea of butter. This means that they can offer something of value, including their time, for something else in return that is not cash. And what does this do for them? It helps to develop negotiation skills because there is no money involved, right? Kids learn to communicate the value of what they want to exchange and negotiate terms. It helps to foster creativity. They have to think outside the box to offer the services and items that others might want. And it builds that resourcefulness that's needed in the business world. They learn that money isn't just the only way to get what they want or what they need. In conclusion, these are the top lessons that wealthy parents actually teach their kids about money. There are a lot more that you can find, but these are the top five that are repeated over and over from different research papers and so on. And by instilling these principles early on, you're giving your children the tools to navigate the financial world with confidence and to be savvy with their money. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing. And if you love this, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.